flour, modeling clay. In this activity, we're going to use modeling clay to make a picture of a flower. Using our hands, we make several different colored long thin sausages from the modeling clay, beginning with white so that it doesn't get dirty. Next, we place the acetate sheet over the flower stencil and use sticky tape to fix it to the table. Now, we will fill the center of the flower with the yellow sausage, making a spiral shape. Using the blue sausages of modeling clay, we now color in the petals. To give our flower a more shiny effect, we add small pieces of white modeling clay to some of the petals. To make the stem, we arrange strips of dark green modeling clay, cutting them with our fingers. To color in the leaf, we place a piece of dark green modeling clay in the center, surrounding it with short sausages of light green to form a circular shape. Next, we place another acetate sheet over the flower and press down with the rolling pin to stick the different pieces of modeling dough together. Now, using the scissors, we cut around the outer edges of the flower. We now go over it again with the rolling pin to remove air between the leaf and the modeling clay and to make sure that everything is stuck together. Next, we seal the figure, pressing the edges together with our fingers and removing any excess modeling clay. This gives us a two-sided flower, ideal for decorating the classroom windows. We can also make candy sticks from modeling clay. To do this, we roll two differently colored strips together, flattening them out with our hands. Using the knife, we then cut off the points of the sausage, giving one a curved shape. 